Hey folks, Trace Monk here. Play some more City Kings 2 as Basileus Phocas, the saint of the Byzantine Empire. And we're going to see if we can't during uh, Phocas' lifetime here, not just mend the Great Schism, but also, well, rest actually restore the Roman Empire. Uh, ooh, Prince Leon. Can we, like... Let's see, can we get can we gift you something? Yeah, we can give you something. There we go. You you you're gonna be better for us there. Oh no, I imprisoned your son or your daughter. I'm sorry. I don't know which one of your children here that I imprisoned at some point, but I'm sorry. Sorry, didn't mean to. You're an organizer. You're you're a good military leader there. So, let's see. Right now, I think we're going to go ahead and declare war on Italy. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so for Genoa. Do they, what does he actually control? He has the city of Savona, the, but pretty much just the, the, the grand city of Genoa. Yeah, okay. Because we need, one of the things that we need is the Republic of Genoa is completely controlled. Right now, Ferrara is under the control of Aquitaine, and we're waiting on, hopefully, to get this last claim here. If not, by uh, roughly the time that we're done with Italy, we might just go to war against Aquitaine. Because they're, they're much weaker than Italy is. And why is Burgundy, like, down here? I mean, oh, well, I guess that is actually where current de jure Burgundy is for some reason. <laughs> Used to EU4, and they're, like, all up in, you know, all up in this part of things. Up here in, like, Frisia and whatnot. So, where are you going? You know what? I think last time I was considering starting a war over here, but you know what? I'm 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 not. I'm going to I'm gonna get all my troops parked over here on the or get my retinue parked over here on the border of Italy. I currently okay. Yeah, I'm currently kind of waiting to build out some more retinue. And get another. Roughly 8,000 retinue troops when I hit a 21 ish K retinue cap. What do I have for. Uh, tech. Tech, tech, tech. Oh, so close on like all of this stuff. Yeah. Plus 40% for being an emperor. I'm kind of hoping also that the, the, the whole thing with us giving these, you know, kingships, you know, creating these kingdom level titles is that they will have individually, will start to have better tech than the strategoses and such that we had before. In the meantime, let's, let's unpause the game. Oh, it's created the title Republic of Malfi. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. My hopeless nephew has betrayed me and secretly gotten... Okay. And I wonder what the option would be if I weren't... Oh, are they at war? Is Italy trying to take back Ferrara? I mean, ultimately it doesn't matter. No. Asterius and Aquitaine are fighting Castile and Huis. I think that's Huis. I don't know, it's this part of England down here. Come on, guys. March. March faster. I mean, 
mean, this guy has got to know that I have, you know, the option of doing this at any time here. Okay. Well, here goes, uh, war. Yeah, yeah. Here goes war. Oh, let's see. Who's he? He is defending against Charles the Unready in the East Francian Holy War for Bavaria. So, wait, wait a minute. The East Francian Holy War or oh East Francia is Catholic so they're attacking here trying to make well trying to or well they're attacking who are they attacking they're attacking Baden they're attacking Duke August Duke Augustine of Baden. Down here. Hmm. Okay. Trying to make what land they can and in, back into Catholic land, huh? Well, that ain't gonna happen for you. But we are going to declare war here. I don't think we lose anything in this case. Just because they happen to be all holy warring it up. Let's send our guys this way. Um, Sicily, Sicily. Are you part of Sicily? Yes, you're part of Sicily. You're not, though, right? Yeah, Latium. Wait, why do... do Is this barony under here directly under us? Oh, man. Uh, Let's see. That is the barony of Tusculum. We need to transfer vassalage. There you go. Get rid of one of our vassals. We don't need that vassal counting against our limit. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah. So... Raise up Latium. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Go hide. Go hide, gentlemen. We don't we don't need you there. But we do need to raise the four thousand troops that are over here. They're gonna sit there for a little while though. Um I'm kind of trying to think about who I actually want to bring into this war. Army of Amlib. What's going on here? Who's attacking them? Why are we hostile over here? Is that, oh, is that actually like them? Hmm, that seems strange. Well, we will just do the usual at this point and just... I don't want to raise everything. But I do want to raise everything that's nearby. Because, you know, then maybe we can raise stuff that's further away a little later here. Like, we can raise... When you look at this stuff, like, okay, we'll raise... We'll raise Hungary's stuff over here. Uh... I should actually like make a king, create that kingdom. No, nope, we don't want Greece. Croatia would definitely be useful. Cost me 200 gold and 200 piety. Yeah, we can afford it. Okay, now. Opinion. Let's see. Opinion, 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 opinion. Well, this guy likes me. And this guy likes me. I don't think that guy's in this year Croatia. Yeah, this guy and this guy. Okay. What about you? Nine, one, ten. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Grant, vice, royalty, kingdom of Croatia. There we go.
Yeah, unfortunately, that does mean I think that I have to wait about a, a, a month or wait till the month ticks over or something before he can give me his actual levies. Yeah, that's part of Bavaria. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, you guys are good. But what would you give me? Austria would give me 312 troops. You would give me 135. Not very many. But it's enough to make the difference. Uh, let's all meet. Our mark. Uh, Verazden. Let's all go to Verazden. Especially because it is a place where once the month ticks over, I can raise Croatia's uh, troops there. Yes, indeed. Oop. I'm not sure what happened. Oh. We raided their... Uh, we raided their little city there. Okay, we got an 8k stack over here. Moving toward Urbino. They're probably going to come and try to wipe this out. Uh, we need you down here. Intercept them if at all possible. Let's see if we can't do something about those guys there. Uh, do we get... Yeah, okay, 1838 troops. Not quite as many as I'd like to see, but some of that land is still relatively recently conquered. Some of it has problems of different types. Uh, <laughs> mm, yeah, deceitful is okay. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, my son. He came of age. He's really an awesome diplomat and kind of crap at everything else, and he's gay. I got no problem with that. But, this being 987, he's going to have to find someone to marry and someone to procreate with. So, he's just going to have to. Push that aside a bit. We have, let's see, looking at geniuses, we have a courtier in Champagne who is 13. A courtier in Moray who is 19. Uh, who's she under? Uh, eh, it's not good. Under a mastermind theologian. So let's see. Uh, attractive. Okay. Nobody in kind of the right age range for attractive. Strong. Oh. Let's see. Ugh. Orthodox Norse. Where where is she? King Sumerlidi the Lewd. Oh, that might actually be moderately helpful and cause a little less of a problem than usual. Uh, hmm. I mean, it would be good to have a genius, but strong and a halfway decent alliance. Seems okay. Uh, in Gascon. Let's see. So that was quick. Unattractive. And you know what? That, did that, like, change in the time that I was looking at it or something? Because I could have swore we had more. Yeah, okay. 
I'm like, I could have swore we had more genius options than that. I don't know. I kind of see this as a chance to, like, bring a, a, a Catholic person in and be like, you must convert. Plus, it'll be really helpful for him if he takes over... Okay, you accept the suggestion. Uh, demand religious conversion. Because she likes me a lot. And also because I'm the emperor. Okay, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Quit that. Uh, do we have an organizer in the middle? Yes, we do. Going to Ravenna. Let's head him off. Right, you know what? You attack them up here. We'll go through here. Head them off. Once these guys get where they're supposed to be going... Oh. Why were we defeated in the siege of a trade post? Oh, that must have been these guys or something. Uh... 3rd December... 6th December. Okay, let's turn this. Oh, really? Really? Ah, I hate you. I hate you, Vikings. Go away. Okay, so they're going to Ancona. We're going to try to head them off here. Okay, nope. We should be able to beat them anywhere they go, try to go. Nope. Sorry, dude. Uh, of course he's a heretic. We want our exarch to... Or not our exarch, our... Um, ecumenical patriarch to like us a bunch. I have no idea what these guys are doing down here. They're just like walking around. Well, I will say that these guys apparently need better, um, need better leaders. Boleto. guys are all together now. Uh, let's see, let's find the best guys who are not currently leading armies. Yeah, so I hear they're going to, uh, you need to go take the war goal. Uh, so I hear they're going to be changing up some of the army leadership stuff going forward. I'm sorry, son, but I'm definitely not going to land you. I love this little thing. It's like, eh, you know what? Nope. Disable that one. I don't want to know it. There's no point. No point in me knowing. I'm not going to do anything about it. Uh, you know what? Go meet them in Urbino. We'll merge these armies. I love that because we're an organizer. We got there before they did. Okay, we finally smashed that army down. Um, where are they going? They're going to Forenza. Low supply limit in Urbino. Urbino is rather small. 
Oh, come on, guys. Really? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll spend the gold and buy a book. Got no problem with buying a book. Uh oh, where did the little military disappear to? Did they all get on the boat? They must have got on the boat. That's no good. Well, we'll just sit on Forenza then. It is the, uh, the Italian capital over here. Oh, inherited the kingdom of Torica. And the Duchy of Crimea. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually more interested in which part of this is the Duchy of Crimea. I don't like that whole thing, huh? Let's see here. Grant. Uh, why... Why would why I, why can't I grant him a? Is he like? Ah, oh, he's got a feudal. Got a feudal thing. You're feudal. You're feudal. Oh, you like me a lot. You're okay. You're not. Yeah, I like this guy better. Him. The Duchy of Crimea. And go ahead and grant him the Kingdom of Torica. Exarch Himerios of Torica. Eh, let's assault it. Kind of funny how Genoa, Genoa is way over here. What is going on over here? This is the Yosef the Devil. He is the devil. War against the tyranny of the Exarch. Does he actually hold any titles? The County of Diodora. Yeah, let's go over there. I don't care about that siege that was in progress. Let's just go over there. Oh my goodness, you bastard Vikings. Stop it. Ah, they landed over on uh, Venice. On Venetia. No, no, no. Let's go there. And they're going through Parma. No. Hey, we got the one that mattered there. a trade post okay finally those guys are gone thank you
Yeah, seriously, I'm not worried about the prestige loss from a landless sun. I get a lot. Prestige, not a hard thing to come by in this run. Oh, yeah, hey, well, yeah, um, yeah, I need to end this episode. Uh, I'm running just a little bit over my timer. Uh, well, folks, next time we will hopefully finish this war against Italy. I mean, we're at 39% war score, and we're 65% on our way to taking the war goal. And then we'll go wipe out some more armies, maybe siege his capital province a little bit more. But until then, I hope you enjoy. Please have fun. Bye-bye.